hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by to watch today's video if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome please don't forget to subscribe after watching this video if you have not subscribed subscribing to my youtube channel is totally free and when you subscribe also hit on the bell sign to get notified so that whenever i put a video you'll be notified and to my amazing subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos you guys are so much appreciated so in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i made this delicious chicken meat pie this meat pie tastes so good so delicious so i'll be leaving all the detailed ingredients on my description box below you can go ahead and check it out and please give this video a thumbs up if you like it share with your friends your family anywhere shareable so let's get started and please don't forget to subscribe subscribing is free all right guys let's head over and start making this chicken meat pie recipe bye guys so we are going to start with the fillings so over here i have my carrot i have my red onions my potato and then over here i have salt cubes turmeric powder garlic powder and the basil leaves and i have my olive oil extra virgin olive oil and then my chicken so let's go ahead and Cut the carrot, the onions, and the potato. And we are going to scrape the back off. Over to the potato, we are going to peel it off as well. So it's not time for us to cut the carrots, the onions and the potato. <laughs> So this is how tiny I cut the Irish potato. So if you are cutting it, make sure you cut it as tiny as you can so that when you are putting it in the dough, do not be too much for your dough to cover, okay? So I'm going to set the potatoes aside and we'll cut the carrot. <laughs> to our pan I'm going to be adding a little drop of the extra virgin olive oil you can use any oil of your choice it mustn't be extra virgin olive oil but be careful the quantity of oil you are adding to it so I'm going to allow it to heat up for a while so our oil is heated and I'm going to add my sliced onions I'm sorry about the noise because it will sizzle right now <laughs> Right, and I'm going to add my chicken. So I'm going to be adding the cubes. 
turmeric powder, salt, basil leaves and the garlic powder. <laughs> So I'm going to cover the chicken now so that it will release its own natural juice or natural water. So it is time for us to check on the chicken now. Wow, it smells so good in my kitchen right now. Like, it smells good. So make sure you season the fillings very well so that when somebody bites on it, it will not be tasting raw. So I'm going to test it now. That's good. So at this point, I'm going to add the carrot. The potato cooks faster than the carrot. That is why I'm adding the carrot first. So don't add the carrot and the potato at the same time, or else your potato will be mushy after cooking. So I'm going to stir it now, then I'm going to add a little drop of water. So I'm going to cover it up and allow it to steam for some seconds. So let's check on the fillings. So at this point, I'm going to add my potatoes. So I'll be covering it up to simmer for some seconds. So while the potato is simmering on the stove, we'll be dissolving our teeth now. So this is my flour. We'll be adding it in the sauce. It will help to thicken the sauce. So I'm going to add water to it. Then I will mix it. So let's check on the sauce. I'll be adding the flour that we mix or dissolve earlier on. So as you can see, our fillings or our sauce is sticking now. So at this point, I'm going to cover it and then reduce my stove. So let's start making our dough now. So here are the list of the ingredients for the dough. Over here I have my cold milk, I have salt, eggs, sugar, all-purpose flour, my baking powder and then my margarine or my butter. So let's start mixing them. is the part I don't like so make sure your hands are very clean before you start mixing it so I'm going to mix it very well now Thank <laughs> you. 
here comes our baking pan and here is my brush I'm going to grease the pan with my butter so our dough is out from the fridge now I'm going to unwrap it then we'll start rolling it out Check on our chicken pie. So, guys, here comes the final result of our chicken pie. As you can see, it's not burnt. So, I'm going to open it up now to see how the inside looks like. so good guys so guys here comes the final result of our chicken meat pie this meat pie tastes so delicious tastes so good i hope you give it a try and let me know how it turns out for you you can go ahead and enjoy this chicken meat pie with your soya milk your zobo your soft drink anything that you feel you can chill with it go ahead and enjoy it it tastes super good thank you so much for watching today's video and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you like it share with your friends and your family i will see you guys in my next video bye guys